I've always been fascinated with the study of linguistics and phonetics and the idea of studying Nihongo, Japanese. I'm terrible at it. There are people that are so good. And I believe, I think you guys would agree, the younger that you are, the easier it is to learn multiple languages. When you get to be an old guy like me, it's an extreme struggle. But ever since I was a kid, I would love to draw the kanji and figure out what they meant. And one of the main ones that has been misinterpreted over the years because people ask a lot about it is jutsu and jitsu. Now it sounds very much alike but the kanji are completely different. I have friends in the jujitsu field that have asked me, uh-oh, uh, I think we've been writing it wrong all these years and I've been telling people since the 1980s I remember uh, being a teenager when I figured out the differences between the two and now it's it's used all over in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and things like that. Uh, versus the word Ju in Judo is spelled J-U. Now they often spell it J-I-U or J-U-I in some cases. In Jutsu, which is J-U-T-S-U, they now pronounce it J-I-T-S-U or spell it that way. Let me show you the breakdown of the kanji. And again, you can pronounce your martial art or your dojo however you want to write it, it's up to you. If you own that business, Correct is in the context, so if you want to call your martial arts something different, and many, many people who invent martial arts, uh, they create different pictorial characters. When you write a kanji, it can mean four or five different definitions, depending on what you're putting it around. Everything has contextual value. The first kanji is ju, and ju is spelled j-u, as in judo. So many people mispronounce it and put J-I-U for some reason. They add that extra I in there. Ju means supple. It means soft, gentle. Don't let the kanji fool you. The way of softness, the way of suppleness, the way of pliability is a powerful martial art. So this is pronounced Ju as in Jujitsu, Judo. If you say Ju, Ju means a welcome or beneficial rain. So J-I-U means welcomed rain or beneficial rain, blessed rain. Ju means supple or soft. Now this kanji, jutsu, J-U-T-S-U, means technique, or it means a skill set. It means an art, an art form. The second noun is it can mean the way or the means. There's a third meaning. It can mean a trick or a trap or a plot. And the fourth meaning is magic. Jits means truth or reality. It does not mean art. It means reality or truth. It can mean sincerity. It can mean content or substance. And it can also mean a seed or a nut or fruit. They have slightly different sounds, slightly different spellings, slightly different pronunciations, really, really subtle and hard to pick up. But the old style of Japanese grappling arts is jujitsu. So by changing the U to an I, it has a whole different interpretation, whole different meaning. Jutsu versus Jits is a different meaning, and that's very hard to pick up. I, I'm no expert. Japanese, Chinese people can, can say, no, you mispronounced it, and the U is silent, and some, the I is rolled there. It's very, very different. It's very subtle and very easy to misinterpret. But again, going back to the beginning, however you spell it, however you pronounce it, your students are going to understand what it means. And it happens in our martial art too. Ninjutsu is J-U-T-S-U. It's not J-I-T-S-U. You see it in books and print all the time. Ninjits with an I and it's ninjutsu with a U, two U's, okay? So if you really are interested in this stuff, you can get deeper and deeper into this rabbit hole and it's kind of fun to do. And by reading books by my teachers, I was explained to this a uh, long, long time ago. So what I'm saying here is not meant to be offensive or to get people upset about this stuff. You don't have to even acknowledge it if you don't want. But the point of this video is we're always learning new things as we get older with more experience. That's why it's so important to stay involved in the martial arts so that we understand the history and the culture and the way that they wrote things because it really brings into context into the modern century what you and I both love to do. Who cares how it's spelled or what the name of it is? Can you do it? The physical part is way more important than any phonetics or linguistics or Nihongo. It's more important than anything. So if you can get on the mat and do jujitsu or jujitsu or ninjutsu or ninjitsu, 
it's completely more important than how you write it or because that's all in your mind that's all showing off what you know can you get on the mat can you actually defend yourself that's way as you would agree more important than how you write the damn thing have a great day and thanks for listening i really appreciate your time